Hello everyone, my name is Taishir and we are going to learn about Dumbbell Architecture and Interoperability. So what do you mean by interoperability? Interoperability is the ability of different computer systems which are connected and work seamlessly. Now you have two different management systems for network and one has vendor A and vendor B. Both are different companies, let's say Google and Samsung. So so now let's say suppose for example we take vendor a as google so whenever we are taking vendor a as google you have i mean you have a network agent and you have a network uh, network objects where you want to share data so what happens is if two people has google phones so they are interconnected and you can transfer the data inside one network management system so that is what interoperability actually means so what importance does it has does it have in computing so it is very crucial because it enables diverse systems to share data and functions preventing data silos and improving productivity so data silos means there will be no um, there will be no corruption or data or there will be no uh, barrier in in both in both or many vendors so that is what um, uh, data silo means so what are the role of standards interoperability often relies on the standardized protocols and data formats such as http for web communication ftp smtp for mail etc so you have all uh, the different types of standards for your uh, for your devices to work on so what are the challenges we have in um, interoperability so the challenges we have is uh, it it helps in achieving uh, interoperability can be difficult due to variations in standards proprietary technologies and uh, software updates so what happens here is you know if vendor a is google and vendor b is samsung google can sometimes update their um, uh, uh, protocols or you know they might add many other functions so that might not work in uh, samsung so that is what i'm uh, trying to tell here so that is one of the cha uh, challenges which we can face here so what is the example so we have displayed that you can see interoperability in action when different branch of smartphones connect via wi-fi or or routers by enabling data flow or you know while uh, enabling internet data so as i told you we are taking two examples google and samsung this was all about interoperability so now let's talk about the dumbbell architecture so the dumbbell architecture on the right side looks like a dumbbell so that is why it's called dumbbell architecture so in this dumbbell architecture there is a segmentation for all your network um, for your network components so the dumbbell architecture divides a network into two distinct segments each with its specific purposes or security requirement okay so each of the dumbbell has its own security uh, requirements and it has a central hub at the core of this architecture it there lies a central hub which connects the two segments so in the middle you can see application services management protocol and transfer protocol those uh, we call it as a central hub and then you have uh, something called as traffic handling as its characteristic so all traffic between the two segments is routed through the central hub this setups uh, this setup allows for efficient tra traffic control optimization and security info enforcement so interoperability challenges um, uh, like as we discussed in the previous slide so you have different kinds of challenges like you know there will be different types of standards which will be updated by different kinds of vendors and you know sometimes you know you have that you have uh, that different kind of kernels which sometimes don't support your devices so that are the challenges which we have in interoperability and the vendor diversity organizations often use networking from multiple vendors in the central hub and emphasizing which emphasizes the importance of ensuring capability for smooth operations so all of these application services management protocol transfer uh, transport protocols can be used by i mean can be um, uh, can be uh, given by different types of vendors so you have different types of vendors for everything so you know for chip making for processes in a in a basic vendor i'm i'm just talking about a basic vendor so that is how uh, everything works here you have different types of vendors which actually help you and which actually gives you some good technology to uh, maintain the network management between vendor a and vendor b so uh, the standards and the protocols the key to 
achieving interoperability lies in adhering to the standardized networking so you know all what we need here is we need standard thing and you know we don't need any kind of differentiation between uh, all the vendors so uh, i mean you know say suppose for example you want to send a message okay so uh, you are using a mobile which is made by vendor a and you are going to send some data to your friend which is using vendor b so what this architecture or interoperability um, interoperability gives you is that all the data should be transferred seamlessly that's the first thing and the second thing is that there should be no uh, there should be uh, no redundancies in any kind of uh, data you know whatever the vendor a wants to send everything has to reach vendor b so that is how all it works here in interoperability and this a uh, dumbbell architecture which we are talking about so so this is all about your dumbbell architecture thank you